you see, a lot of us tolerated so much disrespect when it came from just other people in general outside our home because we tolerated and accepted so much disrespect in our homes from our families, from our parents, because we thought that the way that we were being spoken to and treated was normal. Because we had narcissistic parents, our parents did not talk to us. They talked at us. There's a difference between talking to a person and talking at a person. And mind you, you may have gone out into the world when you were in school and gave that same type of energy that was happening in your home to your to other peers. You know, it affected your peer relationships where you didn't know how to talk to people properly. All you knew how to do was talk at people because that's all you knew. You were taught to be disrespectful to people because that's all that was happening in your household. People are a product of their environments. And if people are talking at you in your home, you're gonna go out into, your, into the world and talk at people because that's all you know. You don't realize that it's wrong. You think that it's normal. And another thing is that when you tolerate so much disrespect in your home because of the way that they talk at you and treat you, you think that that disrespect is how people normally just treat each other. So when you're out here getting disrespected, just getting dogged out, just having people treat you like you are not fucking important, that has been normalized for you because that's all you experienced in your home. So it's not our fault that we tolerated so much disrespect throughout our life, throughout our childhood, and even into adolescence and early adulthood because we were just going with what was familiar, with what we knew. And if all we knew was abuse and disrespect, that's what we gravitated towards. It wasn't until we broke free from that and started to reflect back on our life until we realized that that shit wasn't normal and that's not the way that we deserve to be treated. So it wasn't like we just allowed this to happen and we chose to it because we just had a conscious choice. No, that was all we knew. We were within our environment that felt familiar. And because of the disrespect and the mistreatment, the abuse, we felt as if we were worthless like unvaluable unlovable unworthy undeserving of good things undeserving of a respect because we thought like well maybe this is just my lot in life this is just how people are going to treat me this is what i have to accept because this is all i've ever gotten it lowered our self-esteem so much to where we felt that we didn't even deserve human decency confirmation so let me tell you don't beat yourself up for what you tolerated and what you put up with for so long in your life because you only you did the best that you could with the energy capacity that you had and the wisdom that you had at the time you only were able to be as strong as yourself allowed you at that time you were only aware of what you were aware of at the time and sometimes you could have been very unaware of how abusive those people were so it's like the veil wasn't was still there wasn't lifted yet so yeah now that you are aware of what abuse is and what you should and should not tolerate what you should and should not accept now you know in the present day and going forward you won't ever allow that to happen to you again but give yourself grace for that version that stayed because they really truly genuinely did not know any better